up to part f- five or four, which m- may be the last episode of the series. We've already done everything, which is why in this video, I'm going to show you the effects and how it make my video look even more interesting. First of all is the screen pump. You see this in a lot of videos. What I usually do is, first of all, I'm going to remove this browser by clicking on Control V again. What I did was I downloaded a plugin which does a screen pump for me. So it ends up looking like this. But if you want to do it manually, so this is how it looks. So it just has that like pump effect. It goes forward and then out. I'll show you how to do it manually. First of all, you want to click on Control V where you want the screen pump. Click on your clip. And now find where you want it to be scaled. Click, click on the keyframe button, move to center, move it a little bit up, so maybe to like 140, and then move it down, back to 100. Yeah, that's hard, you usually want to type it. And then you have a screen pump. So you see it goes forward. Yeah, it just goes slightly forward. Now, if you want it to be a longer screen pump, you could stretch it out. So move them to different positions. So here's how it looks. So it slowly goes in. But I like to do it fast. Now that you've got that, I'll show you another effect. This is how I usually do my montages. I usually put a logo. How I do this is at the beginning, if you were here for the first episode, I used a logo. Go to your event and find your logo. Select it, move it how big you want. I usually just select the entire thing and drag it. When you do this, you want to drag it on top. It won't work at the bottom. Actually, it will work at the bottom, but I don't recommend it. Now here's something that tricked me up at the beginning, but I'll try to make it as simple as I can for you. Click on this button where you see my mouse right next to the video. Click on it and then click on transform. When you click on transform, it'll show blue dots in the center. M- scale it down to how big you want it to be. So I want it to be around that big. Then click on the transform button again and then it'll go away. So now we'll have the logo. Now you want to scale it down to how long you want it to be. So I just want it up to there, but you could stretch it out or you could stretch it down as much as you want. I'm just going to keep it as that. So now that you've got this, you want to do something different. Scroll out and now go to the beginning of your clip and then scale it all the way down to zero. Then keyframe it. When you scale it all the way down to zero, it won't be visible. After this, we'll also do something with the opacity. Move to the very center of the clip. It doesn't have to be perfect, but a rough estimate would be good. Then move it to how big you want to be. After that, go to the end of your clip and then scale it all the way down again. So now you'll get a cool effect of it growing. Now here's another thing that you can do. Opacity. Now this will make it more opaque if you know what that means. So first of all, move it all the way down to zero and then keyframe it. After keyframing, go to the very middle and then move the opacity all the way back to 100. Then move the opacity back to zero at the end. Now the effect is completed. Watch it.
Okay. So those are that effects. Now, now let's just do another clip so you get the hang of it. I'll just do everything that I did from the beginning. Try to catch on. I'll only be commentating this a bit. So first of all, crop it out to how big you think it should be. Delete your transitions also. And then crop it out to be how big it should be. Command B. Then it should go all the way back to the beginning. Now that's there. You want to you want to try to align it with the next keyframe. So I'm gonna try to align it with this one. All right. So we want to delete a bit more. All right, so now it's shortened a bit and you want to Okay, so now that you have found that you want to delete that Now go back there delete that we go back to the beginning and now you want to align it. So find where it is. Go exactly to where the shot is. So right there, about. And about there. Now you want to shift B. You can slow it down. Move the green back. And now, here's another effect that you may want to know. So let's say you want to try to align it with the first keyframe. You can click on this button right here and then scroll it down to how well you want it to be. Now let's say I want it on the first keyframe. Now it's 400% ahead. So let's see how that looks. So now it's aligned exactly with it. And now you could also scroll this down to the next keyframe. So now it's aligned perfectly. Okay, so that's basically how to make a full montage with transitions, which now we need to add back. And yeah. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys later. Bye.